Yeah, I get asked a lot about what happened to my bike in Phoenix in 2002 when it broke in half. And um, that was, uh, I'll tell you, that was a turning point in my career where I think I actually, um, from that point I was never the same again. You know, I uh, I had put in a lot of work that off season. <clears throat> I was building at each round, getting better and better. I won the Anaheim round, Anaheim two. And I was second in points to James. I think I was only, uh, I think I went Stewart and then myself and then Travis Preston, but I was only a handful of points, five or six or seven points behind him and um, going into Phoenix. And I was leading my heat race there, last lap of the heat, had a nice little lead. And uh, as I came off the face of this triple, it was a big triple, I heard the tone of my bike change right as I left, you know, mid face of this thing, my bike went from like, -er, like I heard the tone change and I didn't, you know, change throttle positions. I'm like, oh, that was weird. And all of a sudden I, the bike starts dropping, front end of the thing starts dropping. So I'm trying to like panic rev it to get the front end to come up and uh, it's locking up. What ended up happening is the Austria had sent over these light pistons um, that made a little bit quicker power in the diner, you know, the RPMs climbed quicker, but they didn't endurance test them. So I think we were supposed to do that here and we just didn't, apparently. They just got put in the bikes. So the whole skirt of my piston had crack, was cracking off and that's what happened when they pulled it apart later. But anyway, so yeah, mid, mid flight it's dropping and I'm, I know I'm gonna come up short, but I'm panic revving thinking, okay, I'll pick the front end up and case it and maybe I can ride out of it but it's, it's locking up, you know, so it's doing this. And um, I think it was just, it was just such a strange, like it, it was counterintuitive to what I, th I thought, okay, if I'm doing this, the front end should come up. And it wasn't, it was doing the opposite thing. And I just kind of like rode it out. I don't know, like I, I got lucky because I came up about foot and a half short and the triple clamps actually broke. Um, they just snapped backwards. And uh, the whole front of the bike flew off. I basically face planted, um, got up, and, and I stumbled around a little bit. But I was surprised. Surprisingly, I was okay. And uh, I still got some crazy pictures of them wheeling off the front of my bike, you know, and they had to throw the back half into a little bobcat or something and take it out of there. But um, yeah, did a slight separation on my shoulder and coughed up a little blood. I had to spend the night in the hospital. I think my mechanic was getting my bike ready because I, I told him I wanted to do the LCQ as I was leaving. And then Bodner said, nah, you gotta go to the hospital. I'm like, all right, I'm spitting up blood, you're probably right. So anyway, yeah, after that it was just, I just felt like, man, I, I don't know. Tough to get your confidence back after that. I did race the next weekend, but uh, crashed running third because my shoulder was just weak and uh, she was downhill from there. I didn't think about it too much, you know, after that whole deal because the the force of the bike coming in nose first put like a, a backwards um, pressure on that clamp. Something you'd never, unless you ran it straight into a wall, you you'd never have that kind of pressure going that way. They weren't they weren't built to withstand a lot of pressure that way. So um, I don't know. Maybe I was just too dumb to think about it. I, but it never, I never really gave it a thought after that. It was more. Um, I don't know, maybe just a mental thing where it was hard to get my, hard to get my confidence back after that a little bit.